Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I am Vicki and you're with Gravy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to bake some cut up whole chicken that we did together. I'll leave a link somewhere up in here to the video of us cutting up a whole chicken. We're going to make some homemade macaroni and cheese. We're going to go ahead and open up a jar of some canned potatoes that I did myself before I started inviting y'all into my kitchen. But we're going to open one of those jars and we're going to heat that up. If that's something you're interested in, stick around. It's going to be a great day. Aprons on. Let's get started. Since I did that with you guys, I went on the internet, went to all the websites for the grocery stores that are close to me, and I found out Walmart actually had two whole chickens together for $1.14 a pound. So I went ahead and picked up two bags of two chickens. So I got four chickens. I went ahead and cut those up and put those in the freezer also. One bag for two chickens was a little bit over $14 and the second bag with two chickens was a little bit over $13. So I was able to get four meals, which to us that includes leftovers of chicken that I was able to buy whole, cut up, put them in individual bags, put them in my freezer, four meals for right around $27 and some change. So let's go ahead and get started on this delicious chicken. So this is a whole cut up chicken. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on there. Oven is up to temperature. I've got it set for 375. I'm going to start off with about a half a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of pepper. One whole teaspoon of garlic powder one whole teaspoon of onion powder and a whole tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Use whatever you like, rosemary, thyme, margarine. Experiment with the different spices. It doesn't matter, it's whatever your family enjoys. We're just gonna mix that together. We're gonna sprinkle this on our chicken. Now we're going to go in here with our hands and toss them together just to get that oil and the season blend on all the chicken pieces in here. Got a casserole dish here. I'm going to put these down. The ones that have bones like the thighs and the breast pieces, I'm putting bone side down. And these do have skin left on there, but you want you can take the skins off we go wash my hands cover it with aluminum foil Put it in the oven. We've got the chicken with oil and the herbs and the spices in a casserole dish. Put some aluminum foil on it. We're going to put it in the oven. It's probably going to take about an hour and a half. 30 minutes before that time, we'll go ahead and start working on our sides. And we're having macaroni and cheese and some canned roasted potatoes. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on our macaroni and cheese pot. I have some water and the best time to season or salt your pasta is at the beginning. So I'm going to let this come up to a boil. I did weigh out 8 ounces of elbow macaroni and I just keep it in a gallon size glass jar. You can actually get these from Azure Standard. Lids are sold separately. So just cook your macaroni according to your package directions. I'm going to make mine to an al dente just so because we're going to bake this and we still wanted to have 
some texture before we let it continue cooking in the oven. The water is up to a boil. We're going to go ahead and add our eight ounces of pasta. And we're going to let that cook about six to seven minutes. Um, I'm going to taste it after five just to see if it's at the doneness that we want. And if so, we'll have to continue cook it or we'll pull it off the stove. I have the pasta in the strainer rinsed off with cold water. Now we're going to go ahead and get started on the cheese sauce. So we're going to start off with two tablespoons of butter. We're going to add a good pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper about two tablespoons of flour. We're making a roux. I've got the vegetable broth powder. I am going to add one heaping tablespoon. some milk. We're going to start off slowly with the milk. It will help the lump from forming. Got a whisk. two cups of milk. Now this time I'm going to add some turmeric powder. That's going to give me my beautiful yellow color to our cheese sauce. This is actually going to be new to us. I have a total of eight ounces of cheese. I got about four ounces of the pepper jack and four ounces of the cheddar. Use any blend you like. I'm gonna add just a little bit more turmeric because I do want it a little bit more yellowy. Is that a word, yellowy? And turmeric has so many health benefits to it anyway, so that is going to be a win-win for us. I'm just going to stir this until the cheese melts. I got it down to a medium low. Now if your sauce is too thick, you can either add more milk or you can add a chicken or vegetable stock if you like. Might be about a three quarters of a tablespoon altogether. You want to continuously stirring this because you do not want it to char or stick to the bottom. It's starting to become a cheesy goodness. Look at that. Oh, yum! Oh. We're going to taste it for salt and pepper. We have a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. All right, all my cheese chunks have melted, so I went ahead and turned the burner off. I didn't add our pasta.
I have a casserole dish. I'm gonna put a cheesy goodness in here. set this aside. So I have some bread crumbs here. I always save my bread ends and bread pieces in the freezer in a Ziploc bag and then when I have enough I will toast those, put them through the food processor and that way I can have bread crumbs or bread cubes or whatever I need at the time. This is actually bread crumbs. And I'm just going to toast these up just a bit. Now, toasting breadcrumbs, you have got to constantly keep it moving or it's going to burn. So it will go from this color to black very quickly. You do want to keep them moving. We're actually going to put this on top of our macaroni and cheese. Gotta stop throwing them everywhere. you can see it, but you can start seeing a little bit of color in here as it's touching the bottom of this pan. So we want to keep it moving. color now. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you see it? All right, we're going to call it quits right there. And you want to go ahead and get it out of that pan because the pan is hot. It will continue to cook. So there's our macaroni and cheese. We have the breadcrumbs and then it's about two and a half ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. And this was four ounces of breadcrumbs. I forgot to tell you that. So it was four ounces of breadcrumbs, two and a half ounces of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna give that a little toss. You see I have some chunks of Parmesan. It's perfectly fine. It just got too close to my knuckles to finish grating that up. So I just broke it up with my fingers. 
and we're going to put this in the oven right beside the chicken. Oh, the chicken smells so good. So let's check the temperature. Breast needs to be 160 degrees. Thighs need to be 170. So we're gonna go in at an angle, make sure we're not catching a bone. Bone will give you a false temperature reading. So the breast is 170. So that is done. And the thighs are 180. Chicken is done. This is a jar of potatoes that I canned of December of 21. I have bought a 50 pound bag of potatoes from Azure Standard and I bought a case of their vegetable broth, the Pacific Organic Vegetable Broth. And I don't know how many I used of the vegetable broth, but I took 45 pounds of potatoes and according to everybody that I saw how to cook them and knew and do not remember, but I canned a bunch of potatoes. I might have about eight or 12 left and I can't remember how many I had when I canned this. So all I'm gonna do is just open this up, put it in a saucepan and warm it. You can make mashed potatoes if you like roasted potatoes, baked potatoes. You don't even have to make potatoes at all if you don't want to. But I have these on the shelf. That's what we're having. Macaroni and cheese came out of the oven. This is a thigh. That is probably my favorite cut of meat because it's juicier than a breast and our delicious macaroni and cheese and a few potatoes. Let's go ahead and taste everything. Some chicken. Mm. That is perfectly seasoned. And some potatoes, and I know they're good because I can these myself. Mm. Delicious. If I, can find, if I can find the recipe on how I can those potatoes, I'll put them in the link below so you can check that out. They are so good. Now we're going to try some turmeric macaroni and cheese with a Parmesan bread crust. Ooh, look at that. It's hot. Ooh, losing noodles. I can do my happy food dance right now. That is so good. If you find any value in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you part of the Grammy family. Down below is going to be the link to my Azure Standard. I do get $25 if you sign up and buy a minimum of $100 on your first order. But that's not because I'm special up by any means. You also are able to share with your friends and family your link once you become a customer and then if they buy spend a hundred dollars within a month of signing up then you also get $25 credit so if you would go check them out they have drops all over the country it's a good way to find like-minded people preppers farmers, people who grow gardens, homeschooling, all the things that are conventional to a family. Go check them out. They are awesome. All organic and non-GMO food. That's where I get all of my bulk spices. That's where I get my vegetable broth powder. I get all of my onions, cucumbers, carrots, and celery from them because I buy organic on those. I'm not saying you have to, but the option is there. You know what you are putting in your food 
and start cooking traditional meals at home with real ingredients. So I hope to see you next time. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye friends.